Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to find and hire a freelancer on Upwork. So first of all, what you will need to do is you will need to go to the, your client account. I'm on my freelancer account, but I can go to on my client account here. And uh, basically, if you want to find and hire a freelancer on Upwork, you have two different, uh, two different ways to do it. You can post a job or you can go to jobs and then, or go to talent, discover, and then you can discover the talent that you want. So let's say you're looking for a graphic designer. Type in graphic designer and then hit enter, right? Now here you can basically, uh, you know, go by, you know, talent quality, for example. You can click the talent quality. You can, you know, search for the locations. Let's say we want just United States or, Uni yeah, United States uh, graphic designers, top rated graphic designers in United States, right? We can also click top rated right here. And here we can basically um, see, you know, what are the top rated uh, graphic designers in the United States. Here, if we want to, if we want someone to, to hire someone, we can invite them to a job. But first, we need to basically, uh, we need to basically uh, create a job. Now, if you don't create a job, you can just message them right here, and then you can pretty much just message them with what you had in mind uh, about hiring them, right? You can also ask them for a call, right, to hop on the call with you as well. But just keep in mind that sometimes Upwork may or may not allow you to do that. So, um, yeah, first go to job, post a job. Uh, I have my jobs as well. You can go to my jobs. Uh, as you can see, I posted a thumbnail designer job description here. As you can see, and here I can see my job post, right? Um, and this is pretty much what I usually do for my job posts. For example, we're looking for a we're YouTube marketing agency that is looking for an experienced YouTube thumbnail designer, right? We want a thumbnail designer that is affordable, creative, unique, fast with delivery. Uh, and I always recommend people when doing like, uh, you know, when you're hiring someone, make sure to do this, right? Before you send us your cover letter, please attach a portfolio with at least 10 thumbnails done in the past, right? Um, so this is what we usually do, right? Now, again, if you want to post a job, you just go here, post a job, right? And uh, here you can click short term or part time, right? Click continue. And then here you can write, uh, for example, graphic designer for a YouTube thumbnails or for YouTube thumbnails, right? Click next, you can click graphic design, right? And here you will need to just select obviously the, um, you know, the skills, all that good stuff. Click next to scope. You, you know, you need to select the scope. Uh, you know, how long the work will take, you know, more than six months, um, you know, what level of experience you need, intermediate, is this a job to hire opportunity, yes or no, right, I'll click no, go to the budget, here you can set up the project budget, let's say you want to pay someone per YouTube thumbnail $5, right, you can click next, right, uh, and by the way, this is just an uh, example for graphic designers, I mean, you can pretty much do that for, uh, you know, for any other, you know, uh, you know, basically for any other position, right? But here you can uh, put a job description. So, you know, this is a job description. So just put it here. Then once you're done, for example, let's just paste it like this. We can go here, review job post. And then as you can see here, you can basically add screening questions, advanced preferences, job post preferences. You can invite talent to your uh, jobs as well, which is great. What you can also do is you can also go to, uh, you know, all job posts and you can reuse your job posts from before. For example, as you can see, we can go here and we can reuse posting as well for another or we can invite freelancers and then we can basically hire them that way, right? Search for them and then hire them that way. So that's pretty much how to find and hire a freelancer on Upwork. If you have any questions or maybe comments, you can always comment down below. But other than that, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.